Picture this. You just kissed your mom goodnight after a visit, and after you left, she smoked a cigarette before falling asleep in her chair. The next morning, you get the news that she somehow exploded and reduced to ashes. Well, your mother would have been a woman named Mary Hardy Reeser, and she's one of the many unfortunate victims of a phenomenon known as human spontaneous combustion. What is human spontaneous combustion? Well, if you haven't figured it out by now, it's basically when a human explodes for no apparent reason. The first documented case of human spontaneous combustion re reached print in 1763. This caused lots of excitement and fascination in the scientific community and the public as a whole. This was because the idea of someone just exploding was bizarre, and just like any other mystery, no one knows why this happens. This leads us to our driving question. What is the most reasonable explanation for human spontaneous combustion? To get a little closer to answering this question, we'll have to talk a bit more about Reeser's case, just to know what really happened. Mary Reeser was a 67-year-old woman that lived in her apartment on 1200 Cherry Tree Northeast. She was sitting in a chair in her nightgown. At around 9 p.m. July 1st, 1951, Mary's only son, Dr. Richard Reeser, kissed her goodbye after a visit. Mary was alone for the night and decided to smoke a cigarette before falling asleep in her chair. The next morning, the landlady, Pansy Carpenter, was trying to deliver a telegraph to Mary when she noticed that the door handle was unusually hot. She figured that there was a fire in her room and called emergency services. When the firefighters eventually burst into the apartment, they saw the suit and smoke that filled the room. Mary was a pile of ashes with few remains. The police found a part of her backbone, her left foot that still wore her sandal, and her skull that shrunk to about the size of a cup. The firefighters no noticed signs of extreme heat in the apartment room. Candle wicks sat on top of puddles of melted wax. Smoke clouded the tops of walls and warped electric switches lined the room. One thing to notice is that the bottom half of the room was practically untouched. The lower walls were clean, the switches were fine, newspapers were good, and the bed sheets were still white. There has been many theories on how Mary died. Maybe it was some freak accident, or maybe it was a lightning strike. A Times reader suggested that Reeser died from human spontaneous combustion in 1951. This theory is the one that spread the furthest. A police chief named J.R. Rickert received hundreds of theories from amateur detectives. They had very bad theories. Some blamed a strange odor outside her house and theor theorists blamed the fabric of the cushions, two bombs of napalm, phosphorus, and thermite. None of these theories made any sense, so he sent a letter to the Federal Bureau of Investigation. In his letter, he wrote, Dear Mr. Hoover, this fire is too puzzling for the small town force to handle. After this, the police sent boxes of evidence to the FBI laboratory in DC. They sent pieces of the apartment's rug, samples of smoke, rubble from the walls, floor, and pieces of the chair. The FBI agent spent three weeks examining all of this evidence for Reza's case. On August 8th, J.R. Rickert called this case the most unusual case I've seen during my almost 25 years of police work in the city of St. Petersburg. Some of the previous theories like a lightning strike, a broken fuse, or a flammable material causing this were disproved by the FBI. Unfortunately for us, the FBI also ruled out the human spontaneous combustion theory. Investigators made their own theory. They think that her cigarette fell on her lap and her fat fueled the fire, and nothing around her was flammable, so nothing else burned. The investigators found this theory the most likely theory, but there is still evidence to disprove this theory. Wilton M. Krogman, an anthropologist from the University of Pennsylvania, has found that evidence. He claims that Mary's skull should have exploded instead of shrinking. He also states that the cremation of her body should have taken several hours and put under thousands of degrees. I cannot conceive of such complete cremation without more burning in the apartment. Even after 70 years, nobody was able to find the true cause of Mary's death. All of these theories have some way to disprove them, but the theory and I and a lot of other researchers agree on is the wick effect. 
The wick effect is when the fat in the human body gets ignited, acting as the wax in a candle. This theory supports the authorities' theory that Mary dropped her cigarette while falling asleep in her chair. Summing up everything I have stated thus far, it is safe to say that human spontaneous combustion has many theories, but no actual answer. There are many victims of this phenomenon, but every theory someone comes up with is able to be disproved by evidence. Whatever truly happened to Mary Reeser will continue to remain a mystery.